Hi, I'm Steve from Ellis Brigham and this is Mark. And we're here today just to talk a little bit about the K2 Disruption MTI. So this is a new ski for this season, though we did actually have some in on an early release last year as an exclusive in the UK. So we know we've got quite a bit of knowledge on this ski already, but just to give you a bit of the tech spec, uh, here's someone from K2 to talk it through. Here we have the new K2 Disruption MTI. MTI stands for medium turn radius, so we're sitting at around 18 meters in a turn side cut and also a 73 mil waist. Now that's quick edge to edge, it's very smooth and easy to ski at lower speeds, but you can really give it the nuts when you want to go fast. We've got two bits of main technology in here that will help you get down the slopes with ease. You've got Titanol I-beams, so that is single strips down the front and in the tail, and then full width metal underfoot. That gives you great energy and power transmission underfoot, and then low frequency vibration dampening in tip and tail. Couple that with our new dark matter dampening, that's a carbon rubber polymer layer that takes out the shearing forces and high frequency vibrations. So all in all you get a very, very smooth ride. Ideally targeted at a high performing skier looking to stay on the piste, um, someone that's going on a couple of weeks a year and generally just enjoying every colour of run. Our tester feedback has been outstanding and that was from across a, a wide variety of skier abilities and types. Okay, so now you've got some lowdown on the ski, we're going to tell you a little bit about how we felt when we were skiing it. So first thing I should say is, this is our runner-up in the ski, uh, ski of the year in the peace category. So it's obviously a good ski, but here just we're going to give you a little bit more information as to why we feel it is so good. So Mark, first of all, um, you were skiing this, what did you think? Where were you skiing it? How was it? Um, so. A little bit about my skiing, uh, I'm quite a lazy, quite a fast skier um, and um, this ski kind of ticked all the boxes for me, um, super solid, very smooth, um, not overly tiring either, so it suited me down to the ground, the uh, piece was pretty firm, a little bit choppy but there was no problem on these, what about you, how did you feel on them? Yeah, um, I'm probably skiing it a little bit slower than Mark, um, but so I like the fact that it feels really solid underfoot. You get a lot of grip from the ski, but the speed rockers just making it a little bit easier in and out of the turn. Really appreciate that. And one of the things I really like is it's a it's a piece ski. It's quite a narrow waist, 74 mil, but it's still got quite a long radius on it. Um, and you don't get many recreational skis with the longest radius and a short waist, uh, narrow waist. So yeah, I love that feel to it. It meant that you could just be a, you could cruise on it a bit more at speed as well. So. Um, I think one of the standout things for me is I skied this on quite a hard, uh, quite a packed run where maybe the ski could get away from me um, and it didn't at all. It still it bit really well, but um, it just, it wasn't easy. It wasn't hard in and out of the turn, which I was maybe expecting for a stiffer ski. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I think I also quite like the fact that K2, it's not like a typical ski brand and they're really sort of showing where they come from here. One with the name Disruption and two, the fact that it's not full of Larry graphics uh, and also it's got Dark Matter Dampening. I mean, what's not to like with ski with Dark Matter Dampening? So, um, yeah, anything else on that? Uh, no, I mean, like you said, you talk about the looks. For me, I think it, it looks really good. It's not, as you said, your typical piece ski. It's got a slight twist on it and I really like it. So we'd like to hear your comments. If you skied it, put something in below uh, or if you've got any questions, let us know. Thanks for listening.